that he said you just needed a driver. I'm about to embark on a concert tour in the Deep South. What other experience do you have? Public relations. Green Book is about two gentlemen from very different worlds. Tony was Italian, rough, street smart, and Don Shirley is very polished, highly educated black man. They seem to have very little in common. You know, it's 1962, there's a lot of racial tension. Tony's got preconceptions about a guy like Doc Shirley. And Doc uh, seems to see Tony as someone who is vulgar to the point of being repulsive at first. It is my feeling that your diction Oof. could use some finessing. Oh, fun on, but why are you breaking my balls? Because you can do better, Mr. Balalonga. The story at heart is about obstacles that Tony and Doc Shirley face together. This gentleman says that I'm not permitted to dine here. Well, you don't understand. He's playing tonight. It's club rules. I'm sure you understand. They're both able to discover their similarities and teach each other things about their differences. How does he smile and shake their hands like that? Because it takes courage to change people's hearts. I love just relationship between these two men that seem to be so different at first. You don't know your own people. You, Mr. Big Shot, doing concerts for rich people. So if I'm not black enough, and if I'm not white enough, then tell me, Tony, what am I? There are things about the story in terms of friendship and love that will always be relevant no matter what time you're in. This is complete opposite, somehow finding common ground. I think it's just something that could be understood in every culture, every language. When people see it, they're gonna be blown away. It's beautiful. Anyone can sound like Beethoven. But your music, what you do, only oh, you can do that. Thank you, Tony. But not everyone can play Chopin. Not like I can. Maybe I 